Adventures. Hey everyone, welcome back to Alice's Adventures. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to make a fairy garden. So come with us and let's use our imaginations. So the first thing that we did is Alice and I went out in nature. nature. And then we found these cool stumps. And we found a bunch of awesome stumps. Of stumps and sticks yeah. and things that we could use. We were looking for things with holes in it, huh? Yeah, so we can make little houses out of it. So we got a bunch of sticks and things and we're ready to start this project. We got a bunch of bark down here that we found from just some old dead trees. And yeah, these were all already chopped. And we found this one with the hole. Here are some of our fairy garden decorations. Up here, we've started the beginnings of this house. We're gonna add a walkway to that one. Yes. And we are going to add walkways to this. And we've started this here. We've got a little frog pond and cute little walkway to this little mushroom fairy house. And over here, we kind of rearranged some things. And I made a little ladder here for the fairies out of chopped up wood. And up here, We have the beginnings of the little hobbit hole that I'm trying to create for the fairy garden. So yeah, here's what it's starting to look like right here. We've got a long ways to go, but it's coming along. working hard on a fairy garden and now we're going to add some cute little butterflies. Some purple and some monarch butterflies. So cute. So our little butterflies have little wires and we're gonna just stick them in the ground so it's actually like they're flying over the garden. So we're gonna talk about this cute little mushroom. House thingy. House that we've made, fairy house. Yeah. So we found the log out in nature and we just topped it with um, one of these plant holder things. And I carved out this door and we added a little tiny- Acorn top. Acorn top. For the doorknob. <laughs> for the doorknob and some flowers for decor. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And it looks like a mushroom. Yeah. Okay guys, so I have been working every day on this thing. This is transforming into my hobbit hole fairy house or home and I put moss around this half log 
shaped um, home. And then I have put some bark around this piece of wood that I made for the platform for the home. And I'm just working on the landscaping right now, putting some flowers in. And the fairy garden is coming along. It is almost finished. I've been working really hard on it every day while my little baby boy takes a nap I come out here and have some fun hey guys so it is day I don't know what but we've been working on this fairy garden for a long time and we're gonna show you what it looks like yes it looks fantastic well you guys will be the judge of that yeah hey guys if you spot any fairies during our fairy video then comment fairy below here we have our little flower shop and paisley was so cute she thought of putting some mushrooms on the little stick stumps and i added some moss so even Paisley helped out with this. Yeah. And up here we have our other fairy garden. We've planted some flowers. And we have this little blue walkway that we did that goes up to this house. And then here's another bird bath. And then we have this green little walkway made out of rocks. That so goes cute. up to this house. So adorable. And then we have a flying butterfly right here. Flying over the garden. Mm-hmm. And if we're not sure. And then we come it over here. Looks like it's flying. Uh-huh. And then we like have this. our little bird right here. It goes down a ladder that I made out of hot glue and sliced up sticks. The same red bark that I found. And we have a little stairway. A little stairway up to this little garden area. Here we have two butterflies this time. and Two flying butterflies. And there's a little froggy area. Yes, we've added a little water area with frog here. Some frogs. And <laughs> so and cute. This red pathway goes to there and the yeah. red rocks around it. I think that's cute. Yeah, we added the green rocks around it. And we have our pretty little flowers back there that we planted along with our garden grass. So if you remember this from earlier, we're going to talk about what we did with this. We made some little stepping stones out of chopped up stick and then we added the moss and the mushrooms. And then down here we have a little bird, a nest. little birdie. And we made a little nest it's to go so with her. Cute. And here we have our lovely fairy swinging. Swing, 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 swing. And down below, we go into another section. And we've planted some flowers in here. It's filled with dirt. And, some and then we planted stones. the grass and the flowers first, yeah. and then you add in the decorations. The decorations, and we added pathways. This one's rocks. This one's little chopped up stick pieces. Yeah. We've got ourselves a bird bath over here. You'll notice that we've added some tree steps along the way mm -hmm. 
All right, we're gonna talk about this fairy house that we made. Alice, let's talk about how we found this piece of wood out in, in nature. nature. And what we've done is we've added a bark yes. roof bark. to it. And bark. what I did is I just nailed some little nails into the bark to hold it to this piece of wood that we found and we added some moss to it and, and a, little plant thingy. a little plant thing that we found at the Dollar Tree and our little fairy that we also found at the Dollar Tree and the stump already had a hole in it and so I added some little wood steps to go along with it but yeah it was really fun creating this one and you can even spot a little piece of pine cone at the top there it's so cute all right so now we're going to talk about my hobbit hole that i did and i used a half a stump just like a tree stump and i laid it down flat with the bark end facing up and then i added a bunch of moss and some flowers that I got from the Dollar Tree and then I added this little bark onto my wood and I used a little piece of wood underneath so that I had room for the garden area. So when my mom was working hard on the big fairy garden, I created my own little fairy garden. Let's take a look. Go ahead and tell me a little bit about this, Alice. So, the butterfly I really like, so I used one, and it's like flying over the fairy. Uh huh. And I used this little birdie, and it's like flying. <laughs> Aww. And I made two little fences. Very nice. And then I made this little green pathway. With some green little rocks and hot glue it looks like. Yeah. Wow. That makes it look really shiny. Yeah. And this is just a little area where you can play. I just found this. It looks like a mushroom. Oh, nice. A white mushroom. And these are just some pretty blue rocks. I kind of used it as a puddle. Very good. So, yeah, here's Alice's little fairy garden. Oh, and the backyard. I just put a little bit of sticks in it and, like, a little campfire. Although this, the dog bowl, kind of looks more like a fairy garden. I mean... <laughs> Like a um, campfire, kind of. Oh. And the butterfly is flying over the fairy. Yeah, so. Oh, I, and also. She watched me, and then it inspired her to make her very own. And, and it's this so little great. birdie on, in a nest. Oh, in a nest. So cute. Little birdie. <laughs> Darling. Cause then the oh, There you have it. Yeah, and it's like the birds flying too. That's it for this video. See you next week. And if you like this video, like and subscribe. Bye.